In today's video, I am going to be breaking down Larry Bird and his jump shot. If you're looking to be able to create open shots for yourself and score more points in your next game, this is definitely a video that's going to help you. So let's check out Larry Bird and try to incorporate what he does into our game. Okay, so here's Larry Bird basically in the mid post. He does a quick jab and shot fake, which gets his defender on his heels so that he's able to rise up for that jump shot. This is really not that hard of a move. All you need to do is a quick jab. If you see that guy take a slight step back, he's on his heels. At that point, go for that shot fake. That then basically stretches his body out. He's no longer a threat. And at that point, you can take a quick jab, dribble, step back. And in today's game, you could even turn that into an even farther step back than of course what they had back in the day and you can create open shots for yourself it also helps that Larry Bird had a really high set point it's well above his head and that really did help him create a lot of shots for himself because he was kind of tall himself too so here now he's attacking the baseline he kind of gets stuck this is a very good defender who was able to force him towards that baseline however Larry Bird with his ability to pass, he was able to do a fake quick pass right there. We can see that as soon as he gets stuck, he does a quick fake pass that makes that player look slightly towards that left side. When that happened, he's able to basically take that step back and with his high release, he's able to get that shot up and with his high arc, he was able to get it over the backboard essentially to make that shot. So if you can be a passing threat, you can also create open shots for yourself by just fake passes alone. Something that Larry Bird did a lot was dribble towards his left side because that automatically got his right side in line. See, when you're a right-handed player and you dribble left, guess what? Your right side is quicker to get in line, and that's what we see here. He's able to get his shoulder and elbow in line with the rim, and because of that, it's a much faster shot, and with the high release, nobody's going to block that. Also, he's able to go off either foot, like we see with Nikolai Jokic as well. This is actually a move that Jokic stole from Larry Bird. You've probably noticed Nikolai Jokic being able to go off his left foot to bring his right knee up with those mid-range shots. This is something that Nikolai Jokic practices and most likely stole from Larry Bird himself. Larry Bird was also able to post up and because of his high or high set point, there was not much defenders could do. Now, generally speaking in today's game, this is really looked down upon because it's kind of a bad shooting form. However, if this worked for one of the greatest shooters of all time and still does work today for longer armed players and Nikola Jokic. See, the reason why this works for taller players is because, of course, longer arms mean that the ball is going to be higher. And if you can get your shoulder and elbow in line by having that ball much higher, then of course that's going to help you out by getting your shot in line. But also, this is a very hard shot to block. You literally need to come from behind to block it. And Larry Bird had a very soft release, and I remember back when I was a kid, which was the late 90s, early 2000s, it was looked down upon to have a soft release. You wanted to have a hard release because that's what Michael Jordan and a lot of other NBA players had. However, if you look back to some of the greatest shooters of all time, like Larry Bird, Steph Curry today, they all have that soft release. That allows more arc on that ball, and he even had a slight thumb flick as well because his palm is facing the ground. And we can see that thumb flick right there. So, Steph Curry and Larry Bird both shoot with a thumb flick. Steph Curry has slightly got rid of that in recent years. However, they both have that soft release. So, everyone shoots differently, and that is a big point in today's video. Also, when he was coming off of staggered or even single screens, as soon as he caught that ball, he was looking at the court, looking at the rim, looking at his defenders to see where they were. At this point, that is what, we're, what he, we are seeing. He looks right there, just before he catches that ball. That way he knows, okay, I can go for that shot. And that's what he does, he goes for that shot. He also times it so that he's on his right foot when he receives that ball, so that he can go left-right into his shot. Your footwork is extremely important, and to be able to really time that perfectly, to be able to go left-right off the catch is extremely important and will help you raise your shooting percentage. And now watch the footwork here. He catches that ball again on his left foot. He then plants his right and brings that left foot around so that he can take that shot. 
He doesn't take a dribble. He doesn't mess around with his feet. He lands left, goes right left, and now he's squared up for a shot. This is how you want to work your footwork. Catch on your left, plant the right, pivot for your left foot so that your body can be in line, and there's really not much that the defender is going to be able to do to stop that. So again, really look to look for all of the different footwork that you can use practice that footwork and at that point you're going to be able to knock down a lot of shots footwork is extremely important and will raise your shooting percentage and coming off of a pin down screen running backwards again catch on the left right left and then go into your shot if you're a right-handed player this is the footwork that you're going to need and this is the footwork that will help you catch on the left right, and then go into that shot it's going to help you a ton that's going to raise your shooting percentage and it's going to make you one of the top shooters in the world and even from this angle here, where he gets that ball from the left side, he catches on his left, plants the right, right left, and then he's able to go in for a shot once again. Footwork is important. Make sure to use it to your advantage. Make sure to go check out the video here as well as here, and of course, subscribe over there. I'll see you guys again next time. I hope that this video has helped you.